we're going to be looking at the structure of the heart. So let's draw a blunt cone. Let's divide it into four quadrants. You have atria at the top and ventricles at the bottom. This is the right side of the heart. This is the left side of the heart. So that makes this the right atrium. This is the left atrium. This is the right ventricle. And this is the left ventricle. Next we want to put in our four valves. So here we're going to put in a valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle. And another valve goes in between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Because those valves are between the atria and the ventricles, they're called atrioventricular valves. And the names of them are the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve. The bicuspid valve is also known as the mitral valve. Okay. The other two valves that we look at are the ones at the base of the pulmonary trunk. So let me draw the pulmonary trunk in and it's right here. So that valve is the pulmonary semilunar valve or the, just the pulmonary valve. And then the other one, I like to draw it in red just because it's the base of the aorta. Here's the aorta here, and it would be located right here at the opening of the aorta, and it's called the aortic semilunar valve. Okay, collectively, the pulmonary semilunar valve and the aortic semilunar valve are called semilunar valves. That's the structure of the heart.